Hey folks, how are you? I hope that I find you all very well indeed and a very, very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. Or if you're new, welcome to you also. My name's Cheryl and this is What's For Tea and I'm just going to be showing you a very quick and easy rustic winter vegetable soup. Now, I could feel a cold coming on <laughs> a couple of days ago, so that's, you know, this is why I ended up making this soup. And I wasn't going to pop a recipe up, but I did ask and most of you said, yeah, pop it up and let us see. So I'm obviously going to be doing my usual recipe either Friday or Saturday and I think it's going to be a beef lasagna because again so many of you are asking for it so I thought I'd just pop that up at the weekend but in the meantime I've got this one for you. Like I said it's super duper easy, it's just basically root vegetables, vegetable stock and a wee bunch of parsley. It's completely up to you what kind of root vegetables you're using but if you want to follow along with me this is what I've got for you and as usual everything that I'm using and their weights etc will be in the description box down below. Yep so let's go and see what I've got. So I've got a couple of potatoes, I've got a couple of parsnips, I've got three carrots, a couple of onions, half a turnip and I've also got a leek. I've also got about 200 grams of lentils but you can put in as many as you like. The more lentils you put in, the thicker your soup is going to be. The same as the potatoes, the more potato you put in, the thicker your end result is going to be. I'm using a good handful of fresh parsley. You're also going to need a couple of litres of strong stock. Now, I'm using vegetable stock, but this works really well with ham stock or chicken stock. I'm just using vegetable cubes. But like I said, I've made it stronger than normal because as you can imagine, because we're only using vegetables, you know, and the lentils and the rice, there isn't going to be a great deal of flavour. So most of your flavour is coming from your stock. So just make it a wee bit stronger than you normally would. I've also got some olive oil for frying and about 200 grams of white long grain rice. I sometimes I use orzo but I couldn't actually find it so I'm using long grain rice today and again it's about 200 grams or a handful or you could use something like this, just a very small pasta but it's up to you what you use. So first thing you want to do is peel your veggies. So like I said I'm using two potatoes, two parsnips, I've got half a turnip, three carrots, two onions and a leek. So let's get chopping. So you want to chop these quite small and try and get them all roughly the same kind of size because they'll all cook, you know, they'll take about the same length of time to cook. And when it comes to your leeks, you know, what I normally do is split my leek right down the middle and you'll get all of those lovely layers and just make sure you wash your layers, you know, thoroughly because leeks have a tendency to be hiding all sorts of things. <laughs> so just make sure you give them a good wash. And what I do is when I've chopped up my leeks, I then wash them again, just in a bowl under some running water, just like this. Like I say, it leaks are, you know, they're they're really bad for hiding grit and soil and wee beasties and things. <laughs> so just make sure you wash it well. And this is our parsnips. Very similar to turnip, I think. Wee bit softer, maybe. So just pop your veggies into a bowl. I like this. And now we're going over to the cooker and you want a kind of medium to high heat. Pop in some oil. I'm just using olive oil because you can cook this, uh, you know, a higher heat than the normal oils. Pop in your veggies and some salt and pepper. You can even use some garlic salt if you like or whatever other herbs you want to use. Just pop them in. I nearly forgot these other veggies, so I'm popping these in. You just want to saute this with the lid on, on a medium heat for about 10 minutes. You just want to soften up your veggies a good bit. And they'll just steam away nicely. And this just cuts down, you know, your, your cooking time considerably if you do this first. And then I throw in my lentils. You can wash these if you like. I don't bother. And give them a stir through. Now you can go in and pop in some of your stock. You just want to pop in enough just to cover your vegetables. Give it a wee stir round. Put the lid on and just give it another wee simmer for about 10 minutes. 
Again, just give it a wee stir through. Now you want to top up with some more water, as much as you like. And if you're going to blend your soup, blend it at this point because we're, but you know, we've still to add the rice and the parsley. So if you're going to blend it, blend it before you add your rice and your parsley. Otherwise, it's all just going to go to mush. <laughs> and then your parsley, as much as you want. I just throw in the stalks and everything. But it's up to you if you just want to use the heads. And this was mine done about half an hour later. Now I just gave mine a wee stir and I let it sit for about 15 minutes. And again, that'll thicken it up a wee bit. And this was my end result. And all I'm going to do now is pop it out into the bowls. So we had ours with some bacon and tomato rolls. Lovely. And this is a very, sort of, you know, it's not a very strong soup, this. So that's why I was saying, you know, if you're using vegetable stock, I would double up on the amount of cubes. If you're using cubes that they, you know, that they tell you to on your pack. Because like I said, if you don't, you're going to have a very watery soup. So get a good punchy, strong stock in there. So like I say, if you're using a ham, you know, ham stock or chicken stock, you're going to get bags more flavour. But if you're using vegetable stock like I am, you do want it a wee bit stronger. And I know I keep saying that, but I don't want one of you guys making it and then be, being disappointed because you think there's no flavour. So that's why I'm saying a good strong stock, don't forget. <laughs> so that was it. Super quick, super easy. And I just thought I'd pop it on just to let you see because it's perfect at this time of the year. You know, the nights are getting colder. And if you're like me and prone to colds, this is lovely and warming. So we're away to Arden for a couple of days. So I'll show you the meals that we're having over there on Meals of the Week and obviously the breakfast and things that we're having. And as usual, I'll be back on Thursday or Friday, possibly Saturday. It might be Saturday, actually for the recipe of the week, which as I said before, is probably going to be a beef lasagna because so many of you have asked for it since my last poll. It's one of our favourites anyway, so I'm quite happy to make that. Everyone in the house likes a good lasagna anyway. So that's it guys. So thank you very much again for popping over and checking out this wee quick video. And as usual, if you decide to give it a wee go, do let me know. So until I see you next or whenever you decide to join me again from our house, House in Scotland to wherever you are in the world. Take care, lots of love and bye for now. Bye now.